Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football, continuing to take a look at the next week's slate, heading back down to the ACC as the Miami Hurricanes head on the road to play an NC State team, coming off a win against Clemson, and really any college football fan or ACC fan especially knows how hard it is to go into Carter-Finley Stadium at night and grab a win. That is exactly what the Miami Hurricanes will be trying to do. A massive matchup in the ACC. Really excited to get into this one. Before we do, as always, just want to say thank you to you guys. The amount of support y'all have shown for all of these game breakdowns, it, it truly does mean a lot. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. But more importantly, let me know in the comment section how you guys are feeling about this one. Picks, predictions, keys to the game. I say this all the time. The best part for me is talking ball with you guys in the comment section. So let me know your pick predictions, keys to the matchup. Without further ado, let's get into this one. And I want to start with this Miami Hurricanes defense going up against an NC State offense that really hasn't really found its identity. They start out with Brennan Armstrong. He struggles. They go to MJ Morris. It, only a team that's averaging 22.4 points per game. That's 91st in the country. Only four and a half yards per play. That's 115th. And what I think it boils down to for NC State fans, and a lot of them who have talked to kind of agree, this team doesn't really have an identity on the offensive side of the ball. Historically, this is an NC State team that wants to be physical, has a really good offensive line that can move some bodies and get that run game going. They haven't really had that, right? 3.6 carry that's 96th in the country their leading rusher is actually Brennan Armstrong the quarterback who was benched a couple weeks ago the only real rushing success you've seen them have is when Brennan Armstrong has been able to create with his own legs and throwing the football it's also been a struggle and I think that's a result of not having a great run game putting the offense in really bad situations 53% completion percentage only 5.9 yards per pass those are both bottom 100 in the FBS, you look at this NC State team trying to find something in this offense. One thing that has worked, though, in Miami fans, you need to note this. You probably will see, now that I'm thinking about it, two of the best freshmen in the ACC with Kevin Concepcion and Ruben Bain for the Hurricanes. One bright spot for this NC State offense. Kevin Concepcion, as a true freshman, has been absolutely dynamite, hitting explosive plays. They got him some carries against Clemson. This is an NC State offense that it doesn't always look pretty, but are able to find some splash plays to put some points on the board. They're going up against the Hurricanes defense that I can't speak enough about how high I am on this group. And, and for Miami fans in general, right, you're sitting at a 6-2 and two record, and in a lot of ways, that's disappointing. Like I think this is a better team than the 6-2 the and two record says, but you look at what they're doing on the lines of scrimmage, both sides. One thing you can be extremely happy about they are winning at the point of attack. Both sides of the line of scrimmage, they are the more physical team in almost every single game they play. And on defense, I mean, you see that in meaningful ways. Leonard Taylor playing the best football we've seen him play for the Miami Hurricanes. Ruben Bain, as a true freshman, has been one of the, I think he's the best player on this Miami Hurricanes defense as a true freshman. You have guys like Francisco Maui Noah, who I think is playing like one of the better linebackers in the ACC. This is a Miami Hurricanes team that, Stops to run at an extremely high level. Three yards per carry, two opposing running backs. That is a top 10 mark in the country. And what they do a really nice job of is they win on first and second down, get teams into those third and long positions, and then they kind of let those pass rushers get after it. Ruben Bain, Jafari Harvey, Leonard Taylor, whoever it is, stepping up, creating havoc. And in the back end, like this group is starting to find its form. James Williams, Cam Kitchens, I think are playing some really good football at the safety spot. Jaden Davis, Porter, this is a team that you look at top to bottom. They win at the line of scrimmage. They stop the run. They get after the passer, and they have a solid secondary. Those are kind of the three pillars you're looking at in the Miami Hurricanes, checking almost every single one of those boxes. Now, flipping sides, this NC State defense is pretty damn solid, especially at home. 25 points per game, number 52 in the country. The story for this defense in my mind, whenever I watch NC State film, Peyton Wilson at that linebacker spot is an absolute game wrecker. And they put him in all sorts of different spots. They send him off the edge. They have him drop in coverage. This is a dude that has 89 tackles, nine tackles for a loss, four sacks, and two picks, one of which he's brought back for a touchdown. If there's one guy that the Miami Hurricanes have to be keyed in on 
that is Peyton Wilson because he can wreck a game if you do not account for him in the box. You look at the back end, I think Shane Battle, Aiden White are playing really, really well, only allowing a 58% completion percentage to opposing quarterbacks. And they get after the passer. And whether it's Peyton Wilson, whether it's David Van, sacking the quarterback 8.3% of the time, that is 29 in the country. Looking at this matchup for NC State, it's really solid on the defensive side of the ball. They stopped the run. My big question mark, when you look at the Hurricanes, can they get that run game going against an NC State team that's going to be really tough in the front seven? Right, You've seen Tyler Van Dyke, I mean, put it frankly, he has struggled the last couple of games, obviously working back from the injury. Not to know who hasn't really struggled, the run game. It's a Hurricanes team, and we talk about it, establishing the line of scrimmage, this new era of Mario Cristobal at Miami. This offensive line, I think, is the best in the ACC. I think it's one of the better units in the country. You look back at Virginia, zero quarterback hurries, zero sacks. They're elite in pass pro. You look in the run game, 5.1 yards per carry. That's a top 20 mark in the country. Whether it's Mark Fletcher, the true freshman, whether it's Henry Parrish or Jay Allen, they have a staple of running backs that can run the football. And it's kind of no secret. This is a Miami team that is starting to lean on this run game. And you saw them as ugly as it looked for the Hurricanes on the offensive side of the ball against Virginia. They kind of broke Virginia in, in that fourth quarter in an overtime. They just leaned on them all game. And you saw the floodgates kind of just open for this rushing attack. And that's what happens when you have a great offensive line. When you have a staple of running backs that you can keep fresh all game long. Mark Fletcher continuing to come back from injury. It's an offense that, again, it's felt sloppy at times. Still averaging 33.6 points per game. That's top 23 in the country. Six and a half yards per carry. That's 16th in the country. This is a Hurricanes offense that still has done a really nice job manufacturing points. It's just looked a little different the last couple of years because they're really leaning on that run game. What I'm looking for a little bit more. One, Tyler Van Dyke, I've said this before. I do not question his arm talent and his arm strength and at times his accuracy. Like he he's a guy that has one of the more talented arms in the country. For him, it's about making the right decisions, just taking what's there. You heard Shannon Dawson in the press conference on Monday say, you know, we got to work on just taking what's there, not forcing throws down the field. If Tyler Van Dyke can do that, and if they can kind of find a nice marriage between establishing the run and then working some play action and then letting Tyler Van Dyke take that deep shot. That's probably the best form of this Miami Hurricanes team because Tyler Van Dyke is a guy that can make any throw you want him to make. Let's make him more comfortable by giving him a dominant run game to work with. And if you're the Miami Hurricanes, that's exactly what you want to do. And I'll tell you this, why you feel confident about the Hurricanes heading on the road and winning. They got a really good defense that travels and they got a run game and that travels too. And when you have a good defense and a good run game, you're going to put yourself in good spots to beat really any team in the country. And the, the narrative for the, this Miami Hurricanes team, I think all year, I said it heading into the year, this is a team that from a talent standpoint, from when you've seen them play their best football, like against teams like Texas A&M, can beat any team in the ACC. Now can you hold that performance and kind of hold that standard throughout the rest of the season and for four quarters in every game? And if Miami can do that and you get the best version of this Miami Hurricanes team, this is one of the more dangerous teams that you see in the country. Taking a look at the line, Miami heading on the road, four-point favorites. I'm going to take the Miami Hurricanes with the short number. And, and why I do that, and this is not me, I, I think this NC State team is really tough. They're especially tough at home. But what I'm looking at with this Miami team is I, I really like this matchup against an NC State offense that just has really struggled to move the ball. When I look at that matchup, I don't see the NC State manufacturing many points against the Miami defense. I see some turnovers potentially happening. And if the Miami Hurricanes can just simplify things a little bit on the offensive side of the ball, not turn the ball over, be methodical, I think they'll put some points up on the board. And I don't think NC State will have enough juice on the offensive side of the ball to match them. I'm going to take the Hurricanes. And again, if they play their best ball, I think they win this by over a touchdown. But playing your best ball on the road against an NC State team that is as tough as Dave Dorn has this group playing, it's going to be hard. Really excited for this one. A massive opportunity for both programs to kind of get a little bit of a season-defining win. The Hurricanes going on the road to Carter-Finley Stadium and NC State having back-to-back -back wins against Clemson and potentially Miami. This is going to be a good one. 
Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. Again, if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Can't thank you guys enough for all the support y'all have shown the boys, and we'll talk to you guys later.